Now, as the war in Ukraine enters its third year, a local ballet company is bringing a message of hope and unity. The Grand Kiev Ballet is touring the U.S. with performances of Giselle. Dancers who fled the war now take the stage for a cause, raising funds and awareness. Today, they're performing right here where we are in New York City. Natasha Zuvez has more. On the morning of February 24th, 2022, Katrina Kuhar and her husband, Alexander Stoyanov, principal dancers with the Grand Kiev Ballet, received some devastating news. <laughs> Russia had invaded Ukraine and their children were trapped behind the front lines. That uh, day uh, was like hell for us. I could not uh, breathe. I could not uh, believe in this situation. We could not, we was in shock, of course. The couple was performing in France at the time and couldn't get back home. So they tried frantically to get their kids out of a now war-torn country. A few harrowing days later, the family was finally reunited. Katrina tearfully recalls the moment she held her daughter and hugged her son. He said, Mama, why are you crying? A uh, few days and the war will stop and we will come back. And this is broken totally my, my heart. The family now calls Seattle home, but Ukraine isn't far from their minds. As the war rages on for a third year, they say friends and family back home are adjusting to a new normal. I must go, and that's why they try to go to the restaurant. Uh, of course, go to the theater because uh, uh, theater can uh, heal your mind. Yeah, and uh, uh, you can't sit uh, home or in the bomb shelter two years. Serving as cultural ambassadors, Alexander and Katrina are also intent on giving back. They are touring the world and raising funds to support dancers with the Grand Kiev Ballet. Many have lost their homes and need help to survive. And for those who didn't survive, Ukraine's ballet dancers are using their art as a voice of resistance. Alexander Shapoval, a dear friend and former principal dancer, volunteered to fight and was killed in Donetsk. A lot of our friends from Ukraine still died on the front. Um, ballet is our cultural front. Katrina's parents remain in Ukraine and have no intention of leaving the country. She worries about them, along with her students at the Kyiv State Choreographic College. Our people every day are suffering. You know, and every day uh, people die. And nobody knows when this brutal war will stop. And while Ukrainians grieve for the past, there is still hope for the future. Don't give up. So, yeah, <laughs> it is. Natasha Zubes, News Nation. What a lovely story. Thank you so much to Natasha. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.